guys, it's your girl Tessa, Answer Beauty for those of you who don't know me and welcome to my channel. So for today's look I wanted to create something summery, something fresh because summer's coming up and it's coming up fast girl. But I did this soft glam moment with a floating wing liner. We are gonna have a bit of a voiceover moment today so we'll see how that goes. But anyway, let's get into this video. So I'm going to be taking my L'Oreal Infallible More Than Concealer in the shade Caramel. And this is just to prep my eyelids for some eyeshadow so that we have a blank canvas to work on. And I'm just going to use my Beauty Blender to even out that concealer. Then I'm taking my Going Coconut palette from Colourpop and I'll be using the shades Lovely Bunch, Shredded and Coco Crush. And I'm just putting that all over my eyelids using a fluffy brush and my fingers. So I'm going to be using the same fluffy brush just to soften up that shimmer and taking the same concealer I'm going to prep under my eyes and just blend that with a, another fluffy brush. Now I've dipped into the shade lovely bunch and I'm just packing that under my eyelid I'll also be taking Coco Crush and using a small brush to pack that into the center of my lid Taking the shade shredded and just putting that into my inner corner for a matte in corner. This is just to help brighten up the eyes. Now to prep my skin, I will be taking the Sorbet Glow and Tell Liquid Highlighter and I'll be putting that all over my face as well as blending it in with my beauty sponge. As you can see, I'm looking glowy and shiny for the summertime, sis. Looking a little bit crazy, but let's just keep going. Oh, crap. Next, I'll be taking my Color Correct Under Eye Concealer. This is just to correct the dark circles under my eyes and some dark pigmentation that I have around my mouth. And of course, I'll be using my fan to just dry that up so that we can get the fullest coverage possible. And blending that with my beauty sponge, of course. Now I'm going in with foundation, and this is the Body Shop Fresh Nude Foundation in the shade Yucatan Honey. I hope I'm saying that correctly but yes this is my foundation of choice <laughs> and I will be dotting it all over my face before going in with my beauty sponge once again 
just to blend it all over the skin and just make sure you blend that base evenly all throughout your face and get your nexus we don't want to look like we're wearing a mask although please wear a mask don't leave your mask at home wear your mask let's blend your foundation period now using my fresh nude concealer also from the body shop I am just going to conceal under my eyes. I'll also be mixing it with my concealer from L'Oreal to brighten up the under eye area. And I'm just going along the areas I would usually highlight and conceal. Now blending back in with my beauty sponge again. using one of my brushes to pat that concealer under the eye this is just for a more a brushed look next i will be going into my candid powder and this is just to set all the areas where i place the concealer being the under eye around my mouth and my forehead And then using the same brush just to dust off all the excess powder now i am taking the shade shredded from my going coconut palette and i'm just going to tap that underneath my eye just to brighten up that area a little bit more and i'll be using the shade lovely bunch to contour my face this will also work as a bronzer Then taking this shade Shell Yeah from the same palette, I'm using this as a blush and I just messed up of the but it's okay. We move using the same shades to contour and bronze my nose. almost done now let's move on to brows just brushing through with a spoolie i am going to be using a, a pencil that i've been loving lately and this is from ruby this is called your best brows brow sculpting pencil and this is in the shade brunette My eyebrows are looking a little bit crazy because I shaved them and I'm trying to grow them out so just bear with me. I'm using a flat brush to clean up underneath my brow and I'm using my 
concealer that I used before. Just blending that with a brush to seal up those edges. And now I'll be taking my Fab Art Paint Set. Your girl couldn't find any water activated liners, so I thought this would do the same thing. And I'm going to be using this for the white floating eyeliner. And there you go, eyeliner snatched. And now I'm just going to be doing the same thing underneath. I don't know what I was doing here, but I thought it looked cute. Going into mascara, I'm using the Ruby Mascara called OK To Stay, and this is just a black mascara. Now for lashes, I'm going to be using my Wingy Beauty Lashes. Now I'm setting my makeup in place with my Maybelline Fixing Spray and applying this Colourpop Highlighter. I'll list it down below, I don't remember the name. And at this point I realised that I hate my lipstick so I'm going to look for another color I didn't enjoy this one so I'm just going to remove it again Ugh. so I finally decided on a lip color and this is the Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit Matte Lipstick This is in the shade Give Me Mocha And to top that off I'm using the Essence Shine 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 Wet Look Lip Gloss So that is it for this video you guys, thank you so much for watching, if you made it this far, leave some stars in the comments below, let me know what you think of this look and if you would like to achieve it. Now disclaimer, I'm not sure if this paint little thing from FabArt is, if it's recommended to use on your eyes, I decided to do that and if you do, that's on you boo. <laughs> If you like this video, be sure to like this video. Follow me on all my social media, Answay Beauty everywhere. And subscribe. Turn on the notification bell. So you know when your girl uploads her next video. And with that, I'll see you next week. Bye bye. Thank you.